Welcome everyone to Hearts of Stone for the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. The first expansion out of the two. And it's more reasonably priced and longer than what a DLC, a story based DLC that Bioware would offer, for instance, or you know, other RPG developers. But we'll see if the length matches the expectations set by CD Projekt. Hey, they're the ones that said 10 hours. We'll see if this lasts 10 hours. I'm a high level, I've got some really good uh, weapons and armor. So we'll Wanted. see about it. Cradle, used but unworn. Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? <laughs> Who writes these notices? Need a witcher? Any bloke willing to kill a monster? A witcher would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, squatch in the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen Estate. Ask for Olgierd von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted. Well, I'm glad CD Projekt decided to not be retarded and do what every other RPG developer does. Level scaling, basically, with this kind of crap. No, this is a high-end stuff because they would expect a reasonable number of players to actually be... I am not... <laughs> oh, come on. That's a bug, by the way. For some reason, my horse won't come to me, so I need to reload. Yeah, you know, that's a problem balance, is that developers feel the need to cater to people of all levels. Like, you look at Jaws of Hakan or The Descent, you know, or pretty much every single fucking Bioware DLC ever made, and you kind of see a problem there in terms of the level requirement. That, that's just an issue as I personally see it, because, you know, level scale, automatic level scaling is just, just doesn't work very well for balance of, of a game. Hell, most RPGs by Bioware, for instance, are terribly handled in terms of balance, difficulty and all that stuff. In Mass Effect, they go for bullet sponges. In Dragon Age, they go for bullet sponges and high damage. Fun. Not really, but... They, it's just annoying. Spending 20-30 minutes fighting a dragon in Inquisition is not fun. Uh, anyway, beyond that point, however, there's... Um, you know, my biggest issue with DLC like this is that it's unrelated to the main story and the characters in that main story. The only thing this one has going for it, and the second one probably won't, uh, is that this one has uh, Shani in it, right? The returning character, a pretty important character in The Witcher 1. But then CD Projekt to the piss on everyone that played Witcher 1 and like Shani by saying, oh, your relationship with her in The Witcher 1 doesn't matter. Like, the choices you made there don't matter. You know, this is CD Projekt not getting... not understanding anything. The problem with Shani and the way they handle that in The Witcher 2 is that... isn't the fact that she wasn't there in The Witcher 2. The problem is that no one cared and it affected nothing. It didn't affect your relationship with Triss, who might have been quite mad at you for picking Shiny over her. It didn't affect your relationship with Zoltan or Dandelion. No one mentioned it. No one cared. It applies to a lot of other things as well, not just that relationship with Shiny. Your faction choice. You'd think that would have an impact with characters like Roach or Yorvith. It doesn't, by the way. So that's a problem. So we're playing a side story with the character that some people liked in The Witcher 1. Or actually quite a few people liked in The Witcher 1. We'll see how it goes. Good food, good drink, and they, good they still haven't added weapon sheaths, nor have they fixed some of the graphical bugs, like disappearing or and reappearing uh, items and characters, like weapons, you know, pieces of clothing, for instance, stuff like that. By the way, playing this uh, on max settings with the uh, sharpening filter enabled. The one thing I may want to do is actually increase the difficulty of Gwent. I'm pretty sure I'll find some guys. Yeah, it's nice for them to actually increase the damn difficulty of Gwent. Because... It was... Like, once you got to a certain level, it just got boring playing it. Like, once you got to all the cards. Like, I like Gwent, but there was no challenge. So... Yeah. Oh, I met! Your mug's not familiar. What is it you want? Looking for old Geert von Everick. Ah, that'll be inside. 
We'll see about this. There's no music here, by the way. Well, I'm pretty sure the DLC has music, just not in this area. Olgerd von Everick. I'm looking for him. No near by that name. Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us, owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find Olgierd von Everek here. Someone's made an arse of you, brother. <laughs> mm. So maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Olgierd. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm Olgierd. You? Not likely. I'm Olgierd. <laughs> <laughs> You're all old geared, that it? Got it right at last. One man split into three bodies. Not interested in his balls, so which of you's got his brain? <laughs> Not laughing. Guess that means you didn't get the brain. Nope, I'm the one got his fists! Well, that's just lovely. That solves oh, it. Good. You'd fit right in with our band of merry men. Come on, I'll take you to Old Geard. Mm hmm. Well, that was annoying. I always hate fist fighting in close quarters, not enough room to maneuver. Also, there's various what bugs with that. You? Geralt of Rivia. Bit of advice, Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Olgird, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one who wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill him. Alright. Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? 
a naked wench. What do you think of her? Frankly, gotta say I prefer the work of Pax Gernst. Ah, oh, the Kaviri School. Are you an Oxenfurt man? No. Know some folk who graduated from there, though. Ooh. I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman all geared. Long may he live. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Long live the Ataman. Come and drink with us. Well, we haven't a choice now. <laughs> Fetch us some wine, dear, and a nibble or two. Is some special occasion, or just feel like feasting? Every occasion special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new saber. I've hit on a name for her. Fair saber, I dub thee Traditiana. <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Oh, the way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Nay. She went to a fair with her sister or cousin, matters not. Daft wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the oxen fur sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince and will wade knee deep through shite to get him. Vissi was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is that any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the contract. So, you'll check it. Just one formality to resolve first. My pay. Never you mind that. Return with the beast's head, and you'll have leave to take anything you wish from here. Awfully generous. Still, I'd prefer to agree a specific amount. Ooh, fine. How much would you like? Three? Four hundred crowns? Four hundred and fifty. Agreed. And that'll be in addition to whatever memento you wish to take. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Geralt. You all right, Ducky? The Ataman. He's the one to talk to. Take one down, pass her around. 99 barrels of rum on the wall. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Aye, rum in 99 barrels. That'd be a good time. What do you say? You'll see we something look for the cellar. Cozy up to a hefty jug. Aye, you drunk. Go home, you sot. Hey, you! Puss papers! Name's Geralt. 
but I'm gonna call you Puss Peepers. That a problem? Get to the point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative Puss Peepers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it, then cut the bugger's head off. Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabers. Aye, we do. And if I knew who'd axed Clivert, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss peepers. You'll track him down. Keep talking. Clivert dealt fist tech. A few days past, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No. But Clivert was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. Clivert's got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, puss peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt. The Alchemy Inn on the main square. I'm not an assassin. Well, I kindly dispute that uh, point, actually, seeing as I, I don't know, murdered the king of fucking Redania. Just saying. And this is in the aftermath of that. Not that the game will recognize that or care, but hey, you know, things. Trying to get over this wall seems to be difficult. And that door is locked for some reason. Okay then. Now, there is a monster nest here, but the monsters there are perhaps a bit too difficult for me to deal with. Keep in mind, the DLC is rated uh, to start at level 30. Now, I'm a higher level than that, but... But the problem is that the weapons I have are perhaps aren't necessarily so, like they're 33, 33 as well, so perhaps I need better weapons for these particular enemies. Uh, the reason I'm saying this is, well, they're 34, so that's, uh, you know, a bit of a problem right there. And the real annoyance with these guys is, isn't so much their level. But what they are and how they fight. Let's see what I mean. That stench. There's a lot of spiders here, basically. Man, that's the problem. A lot of them, they like to move very quickly and they like to uh, do a lot of damage to you. So I'm perhaps not ready. I may need better weapons, uh, or at least a better silver sword to do deal with that. Or get some oil. I guess that could work, right? Get some inso insectoid oil, and that probably would do the trick to a certain degree, at least.
Okay, so I don't have that particular herb. Well, without it, there's no point. By the way, they are vulnerable to that. I need a herbalist, right? Or the ability to, you know, get some of that. There's herbs, but we'll see. There's obviously lower level uh, enemies as well around here, or, well, maybe not. <laughs> You gotta love it. It's a bear. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll try it. Doubt it would work, but... To do enough damage to easily take them out, but we'll see. Monster nest. Best destroyed with a dancing star or grape shot. Come on. Hey, I got what I wanted, right? I'm just gonna kill one of them so that I can uh, um, get the bestiary entry. That's one ugly fuck. It's bigger than the other ones. It's like the boss of this place. Spider Queen. What now, you piece of filth? No, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Alright, get out of here. Gonna collect that loot. And the plants as well. Hmm. And they shoot webs, of course. Also, it does damage through Quen. What the hell is that? I have no idea. It's best not to think too hard on why jumping uh, allows you to regenerate HP. Actually, it's because it consumes stamina and I have the ability to regenerate HP whenever I consume stamina. And that includes jumping as well. Obviously, you can't do this in combat, so it's not really a combat advantage. It's just a more convenient way of uh, regenerating HP outside of combat.
One tough son of a bitch. The real problem is the damage it does or uh, the stun or anything like that. The problem is that hit hitting it is a bitch of a situation. Well, that's why you use art. And it dies. And Draga Embryo, really CV project, you can't even be bothered to, ch to make a new item for that. Anyway. Andrega Embryos should be on Andregas. There's no Andrega Queens, by the way, in this. What's the Neckers. Don't you just love old... Fr uh, what the fuck? I mean, beyond the Neckers, right? Uh-huh. That... Yeah. That's not a big problem, but... We'll see. Just gotta save. Draw a silver sword. And then go in. This probably won't be as much of an issue as the spiders. But they have made bullet sponges. That's a bit of an annoying bitch. It's like, how do we make the enemy challenging? Give them HP! Well done, CD Projekt. You've literally become Bioware. In that respect. Thank you, now stay the fuck dead. Hmm. Wonder what that journal is about. Oh, we got the book. Mm hmm. Yeah, how did that golem w go for you, scholar? The reason a witcher kills it is because, you know, it's a danger to people like you. But, yeah, you can't appreciate that. Imbeciles. <laughs> Fucking imbeciles. Well, you got what you wanted. You got the golem li living again. For all that was worth. <laughs> His life. He's useless piece of shit life. Run, Roach. What enemy was that, though? 
Yeah, I'm g collecting all these herbs, but what's that? Oh, come on! Just a wild dog. Nothing special. I guess I realized what happened to her friend. Or maybe more than just a friend. Hmm. Well, I gotta find clues. Gotta find the fucking body, after all. As I expect. Smells like solutions, reagents. Hmm. Wonder what's cooking. Drugs. Tech. Took most of the equipment, only left what was broken. True as true can be. Dangerous trade narcotics. Open window. Boot print on the bed. Somebody was in a hurry. Well, we'll see what this has to offer. So, what? Footprints. Uneven. Someone ran through here. Yes, because ex that's exactly what we need for an expansion. More of the same crappy quest that we had before. What do I have here? Stopped here for a second. Hid, then ran on. Hmm. Where? I mean... There we go. Bit of a bug there, disappear for a second. Scar on his forehead. Must be Clivert. Bolt in the back. Went in deep, so a close range shot. From the village, what that direction looks like. Mm-hmm. Crossbow bolt and footprints deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. Hoofprints leading towards the hill. Someone's still there. The last thing I care about is fighting a group of drowners at this stage.
Knight? Wait, what? Well, I guess we did want the Order of the Flaming Rose, didn't we? Right? Let me answer a big bloody question. Why isn't the Order of the Flaming Rose with I don't know, rat of it? Enough of that. on it. Might find someone who could explain them to me. Consider me unimpressed, perhaps about this armor. I mean, I guess it's slightly... I mean, it's good if you don't have anything else, right? You get it for free, all that stuff, but... Hmm. That's not it. I mean, sure, yeah, good, good stuff right there, right? But ah, there we go. exactly happened to the Order of the Flaming Arrows, if I may inquire? <laughs> that would be an interesting question to answer. CD project. Well, I guess I'll find the two other armor piece, pure, uh, pieces right there, right? 
the boots and the pants. Which just makes sense if Radova decided that he he would he didn't want the military order, he wanted them under his direct command, disband the order, things got bloody, things didn't go well, right? Yeah, it would make sense, that would work. Hmm. What's this? Order of the Flaming Rose have a new seat? Not too shabby. You listen, Vagrant. Don't know why you're here, but take my advice. Go back to wherever you came from. So, why are you still standing there? I need to smash your painting. Wondering what you got inside, because it reeks of fist tech to me. Mind if I have a look, brethren? Aye, we'd mind. Very much so. Enough of these games. I'm counting to three, and you're gonna be gone when I'm done. Got it? One, two. I do have the money, by the way. That's not even the. I also have delusion, so I probably should have equipped that, but. Hmm. I may actually reload to just, yeah, whatever. Three. If this doesn't work, I'll just reload the earlier checkpoint anyway. And yeah, use a uh, delusion. I'm fairly certain I have delusion at any rate. Yeah, that works. Anyway, um, let's see character. Uh Yeah, I didn't have it as a talent, but I did have the points, not spent. I think I even have more points than that. Because when you're a high enough level, you don't care about spending points, because you, your abilities are maxed out. Like, what I have right now in terms of abilities is, well... Like, I've got Rage man Management, which is a crucial point. Acquire Tolerance for, you know, higher toxicity. Battle Trance when casting a sign, okay. May not be the most useful one though, that one. Uh, strong attack damage increase, fast attack damage increase, and increase the chance, okay. Basically, a lot of this stuff, a lot of combat to abilities. That's it, Roach. Yeah. Step aside. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, ten, ten. 
22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Who oh, the devil are you? I'm a witcher, or as your brethren prefer to call me, a mutant, a freak. You shouldn't be in here. And Knights of the Flaming Rose shouldn't be murdering humans or producing drugs. True, we shouldn't. We're supposed to defend the downtrodden. Spread faith in the eternal fire. But Radovid tricked us. He broke his oath, sent our brethren to the front as common grunts, and once the mighty order was bled dry, he disbanded us. Took our lands, confiscated our domains to finance his war. The brethren who didn't object were appointed mage hunters. Those who took umbrage dared to stand up to him. They were imprisoned. Or exiled. We're but a handful who still wear the colors. And we must find a new place in this world. So you turned rogue? That your idea? Wonder what Siegfried of Donnell would say. Siegfried of Donnell would. But how do you even. I know you. You're Geralt of Rivia. Jacques de Aldersburg's killer. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. That was the start of our downfall. You were the beginning. A cursed mutant. Draw your blade! No need to yell. Just ask politely. Eternal fire! Get him from the left! Got no chance alone! You know I did that side by side with Siegfried. Just gonna point this out. Get him from the left. Just making a point. Shall be over soon. Okay, there's a bit too many knights here. I'll just deal with this though. Yeah, that's uh, an interesting development. Not surprising, makes sense by the way, of all the crap they've done, that makes sense. They are retconning it though, probably. Or was that or the original intention all along? I'm a... Yo. And... True, but... Took a whip. What can I say? You've done well. Before long, you'll be another salamandra. Congratulations. I'm out of here. Salamandra. Wait, wait. I know you. You're Geralt of Rivia, Jacques de Aldersburg's killer. None other. That. No. Chop, cut, chop, cut! 
<clears throat> Alright, that was a bad idea on my behalf. Too many of them! Way too fucking many of them. I guess I need bombs or something. Yeah, probably bombs would do it. Too many of them in a closed space. Crossbows and all that stuff. Deal with the crossbowmen first, I guess. Or use the gas in my favor. Hmm, that could work. I'm a Joe. And Joe, but Rat took her. Where? So. Ah. No, no. That. No. Get in from the left. Eternal fire. from the left. <laughs> and so that's over. Or is it?
Obviously, mm, it's actually not better because although it does slightly more damage, it just doesn't have the runes that this one does. Obviously, the woven steel swords that I have would probably be better. I'm just wearing... Uh, currently wearing that because, well, the weapon sheath works better. Anyway, so that's the quest right there. Siegfried was mentioned, I guess. That's probably all we we're gonna get because, you know, the situation would be different depending on what happened to him as Grandmaster. Anyway. Ah, Geralt. We're gonna enter the drug trade. <laughs> no, uh. No message? Or anything? At least that particular point was resolved, you know, that massive gaping plot hole. <laughs> Just saying. Wait, I probably should check their bodies more because, yeah, sure, okay, I got gloves and chest piece, but no, uh... And also, I probably would be better suited using this, uh... I mean, it does fit the armor more, right? Hmm. Which one's better? Wolven one. Reason? Simple. Um, it, it's due to the um, uh, adrenaline point gain. Probably should craft some runes, by the way. The bleeding one is good, all well and good, but... We only have swords, it would seem. The bottle, okay. Hmm. The last of the Order of the Flaming Rose, probably. Well, Nilfgaard won, <laughs> so... There might be a fast travel point there, I think. Potentially. Hopefully.
There we go. Yeah, I just need to go to Oxenfurt. Gotta go there anyway, right? Long live acceptance. You choke to death on three pounds of Gone foolproof method for exercising witches. Avenged your friend. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed, puss peepers. I knew it. Go on, out with it. Who was the bastard? Bastards. Brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What do you do to them? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. No, just killed them. Oh, so handsome and so boring. Here, Puss Peeps, your gold. Ought to be enough for an ounce of panache. <laughs> you don't see. One thing I, uh... Let's see... I'd use that gladly, if not for the fact that I'm probably gonna get the better sword soon enough. Anyway, Cosine here on Serious Gaming, signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.